Yo. So I just had my six month uh, check in with the kidney doctor. And you guys, I am out of stage three. I'm in stage, well, one or two. Um, okay, I'll just put it up. I'll pop it up on the screen so you guys can see. But that is really good news. Um, however, my protein in the urine is quite high. So they're switching up my medication so that we can kind of control that better. And I'll be back in a couple months to check that. I'm going to be monitoring my blood pressure for the next two weeks like two or three times a day um, so that I can make sure you know the medication is working properly and like keeping my blood pressure down because that's main, the main reason why this protein is probably spilling in my urine it jumped in a six month span the number was like 50 I, I don't know the units measurement excuse me no I meant we oh, park this way and here we go this way um so basically when the protein spills in the urine um the numbers that record that jumped like 200 points from like 50 to 250 which is bad she said basically that means my um, protein in the urine is too high and my blood pressure has not been as stable which is weird because the actual number that indicate the GFR number that indicates um, what stage of kidney damage you have actually went down Right? It went down from stage three to stage two or one. All they know the number is above 60, which is out of like the red zone for the stages. You know, stage one and stage two, they, you're fine, pretty much. I'm so happy to hear that news, but yeah. You gotta make sure I'm controlling my breath pressure. I know that recently i've been not eating the best and maybe a little bit stressed but she said this is not a number that just jumps in a matter of like a week it happens over time so over the last six months this is the increase has happened you know so All right, we're making progress. We're gonna get on this medication so that we can get stuff controlled. I told her, you know, I wanna make sure that the goal is that we um, are working towards totally getting off medication altogether. Um, originally, they had me taking um, two medications one is called amlodipine and one is called lisinopril both are the like very low dosage for both of them and because of the, the increase in protein being spilled they well she wanted to increase the lisinopril from 2.5 to 5 but I'm breastfeeding still so it was like a red flag they, like, they said they don't prescribe higher dosages of that when you're breastfeeding and there lies you know why they decided to totally switch the medication so I'll be just taking one pill now which is something I actually like uh, along with my vitamin D actually my vitamin D levels were just under what they like to see they like to see it at like 30 and it was at like 27 um, the numbers for that so I'll just be taking two medications now. And another plus about this one, give y'all a little inside scoop. 
I'm just joking. <laughs> no, but I, uh, this medication is safe to take, you know, if you're planning to become pregnant, which of course I do plan to do again in the future, right? So I won't have to like switch up my medication when I start trying. It'll just be a like, go ahead and try. Okay. All right. So, um, uh, that's that that's a little update on my kidneys or my um uh chronic what the heck is it? chronic kidney disease right that we're not claiming right we're not claiming that but this this is what we are working to make sure is prevented this is what we're putting a name on this right so that so that we know what, what what things to look at, right? So that we can get back in the right direction. You you feel what I'm saying? All right. So um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and head back to work. I'm gonna be packing, finish packing, and I'll see y'all on the flip side. con làm tốt mà anh hai anh hai nói chuyện với tụi con So it took me like three or four times for me to pick a color. There was a color that I thought I liked, but when she started painting the nail, it was like super bright and we not doing super bright today okay so i had to <laughs> i had to try it a couple more times and we finally got a color that was okay i don't like to be too out there you know but i do like a little color you know a little some some i'm just not into being like super flashy like every now and again i'll have moments where I want like a red or you know some bright color but normally I'm like a neutral girl so we have to get it together for the one time and um yeah so now I'm going to get some food I think I haven't eaten anything today except cashews and then I'm going to head home and finish packing. And then we're going to be on our way to Kalamazoo to meet up with the rest of the travelers. See you then. Blah. That feet in the uh, socks anyway. No, I have sandals. Uh, you want to show your feet? It's not that I want to show my feet. It's just that I'm... <laughs> When you're wearing sandals, you want your feet to look nice. No way. In one mile, turn left to merge onto I-69 South toward F.T. Wayne. You can put your high beams on. You, you put the socks on, but when you're in the house, you take the socks off. That's, that's, the, that's the good way, you know what I'm saying? to Kalamazoo. I wear it now, but I just thought, you know. No, I wear it now. And then it got the tag and stuff on it. 
It'll help block your sun after you over your glasses too. Mm -hmm. <laughs>